Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Morrowind. I'm just gonna pick right up where I left off doing Thieves Guild quests. Uh, there's a job for me that involves the South Wall and a Master of Security. Well, the South Wall is a place we're familiar with, because that's where the, um... That's where Sugar Lips is, and we've been back there a hundred hundred times, but... Um... We're looking for the Master of Security. I, I think that's a person... Oh, purring. Hello. Um, that's one of these people down here. I'm just gonna have to figure out which one. Training. Security. Alright, you train security. Are you who I'm looking for? You trade. You're a thief. Okay. Uh... Someone in Thieves Guild? Any jobs? Well, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for jobs. Okay, this is a t seems unrelated. The only Altmar here in Belmara are in the Lucky Lockup Guild of Mages. Well, Blue's people. Journal update. So that's a thing. I guess I need to go through all this dialogue. Little secret. Someone said Larius Vero at Fort Moonmouth is looking for me. Interesting. Okay, that's a thing I should take care of. So is that helpful? This is. A Job for me that involves South Wall and a Master of Security. Okay, but this is something else. Told the Altmar that seems unrelated, and this seems unrelated too. So, oh wait, the last. Oh yeah, these are. This is the date. So, I'll have to go do those things at some point. But all right, maybe you're the person. Okay, so Sugarlip says a master of security lives in Belmora. Perhaps he can help secure the south wall. That doesn't necessarily sound like it's at the south wall. I think I'm supposed to find the master of security and talk to them about the south wall. And that sounds like something I should look up on a wiki. I'm not sure how I was supposed to know this, but... The master of security is an Altmer. Maybe I was supposed to I was supposed to know that this was related, but it's one of these people. I didn't read any further in the wiki because I don't want to spoil the experience for myself. Um, but I need to look for these people and talk to them and see which one is the master of security. I'm just gonna go in order. The first one is Kulu Mare at the Lucky Lockup. I'm at the Lucky Lockup. Seems like a place a thief would be. There's a key on the door. It's called, it has the word lock in the name. And the entrance is facing a, a, a wall. Kulu, Kulu Mare. What are you running around for? Calm down. My duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Okay, let me talk to you. Um, you're an Altimer, that's right. And I am supposed to be talking to you about South Wall. I mean, I never go there. It's a dirty place visited only by thieves and swindlers. Well, you don't sound like a thief. Services. Wait, what's the thing that... Background? Commoner. Alright, I don't think you're... Murderer's description. What's the murder? My trade. There we go. I'm a commoner. Okay, so you're not... You're not, not the droids that I'm looking for. I think I can safely skip Esther Dalin at the Guild of Mages, because Mages Guild and Thieves Guild don't seem to go together. Uh, Imare at the Hlalu Council Manor. Okay. Here's House Hlalu. Here's Hlalu Council Manor. I uh, just walk in and chat with them, I guess. Who are we looking for? Amare. It's an elf. Yeah, there's Amare. Don't believe I've seen a red god with such a grand outfit in some time. Spells. You seem like a mage. My trade. A night blade. Well. Okay, how do you feel about South Wall? Secure the South Wall. What are you talking about? I guess you. Okay. You're not the right person either. Nice speaking to you. Sorry I barged into your house. That seems to be a thing people do in Morrowind. Just 
Houses are unlocked. Let me just walk on in. That's fine. Next. Nalkyra the Alchemist. That doesn't seem right. Hasurin and Tiramalin. Alright, so this guy's name is highlighted. I probably should have clicked it. Two houses south downstairs. He's a healer. So then... Hisserind seems like the last one. Of course, now, in hindsight, this is obvious, right? This one has a location. This one is obviously not right. This one has a location. This one seems not right. This one we've talked about before. This one is totally anonymous, and I have to go hunt for them, which means, of course, that's the person I'm looking for, right? So let's go find Hesserindi. Hesserind. Hecarinde. Whatever. Here we go. Here's this guy's house. Just walk in. And there you are. This is a thiefy looking dwelling with gold and stuff on the. Okay. Welcome to Belmora, council seat of training. Security. That's a good sign. And how do you feel about the south wall? Yes! I must admit, I've been negligent towards the guild. I'll certainly help you secure the south wall. Tell Sugarlips I'm at her service. Your journal has been updated. Awesome. That's right. And while I'm here, maybe I'll get some training and security. A few times, because I could probably use it. 25. 25 seems good. All right, let me go report back. It's important we defend the south wall. That sounds like defend like the wall of the city and it's being invaded it really doesn't sound like we're in a bar and we don't want people coming into the bar they're making it not they're making it sound a little extreme okay Hesserin is the master oh Hesserin is the master of security and he will help us this is good Hasabi thinks it will not be long before what Snoring hard heart. Snoring a hard heart and the Kamanatong make another move against us. Oh man, my throat. I've been of good service. If there's any gold in my head, I'll have it fixed. Journal's been updated. Was that the quest, really? No jobs. I'm done with the Belmora Thieves jobs. That was too easy. No jobs for me. Ask the jeweler. These are different cities. Well, I guess I did good here. Uh, and I'm now an operative. Awesome. Still no training, though. Still no barter, though. That's okay. Sugar Lips, it was nice working for you. So we're gonna have to go do another quest. Because that was extremely... I've been doing these episodes by one quest, but that was short. So... And not super fun. That was really just, hey, go talk to this person. So... What else did I find out about? I found out about this. L Laris Varro at Fort Moonmath. Moonmoth. Wants to talk to me about something. Southeast of Belmora, just outside of town. This is Varro. Blah, blah. They want to talk to me about something. Where is that? World. It's right here. So, I'm gonna go talk to them about something. Because that seems like a good idea. Before I do that, I'm gonna sleep so that it's daytime. Uh, and then I'm gonna go walk over there and see what they have to say to me. And onward to the fort. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Look at the sun shining through the tree. Look at this. Look at that. The sun shining through the trees is making like... Like, like, ray effects through the mist. The misty morning. That is unbelievable. I'm not sure if an episode of this series has gone by where I haven't remarked about how awesome the graphics are. Because I find it really remarkable. Like, seriously. That seems like it up ahead. There's an outline of a fort in the distance, and I see some fort-looking... Uh... You know, I can't think of the word for those things right now. Is that, well, let's see. Moonmouth Legion Fort. Okay. And now who am I talking to? 
I am talking to the Legion Champion, Larius Vero. That kind of sounds like Larry, which is hilarious. Because everyone else's name is pretty absurd. And his name is Larry. All right, where's Larry? That's Rad Hardheart. You sound awesome. Uh, where's Larry? Anybody know where Larry is? There's probably some good stuff here that I could s steal if I was feeling thiefy. But I'm not not quite good enough to do that yet. But wow, they have a lot of stuff. I need to remember next time I want to go shopping to come back here. Oh, Larry Sparrow. All right, Larry, what's up? I'm Larry Sparrow, Legion Champion of Four Moonmouth. I've been hoping you might come by. I have work for you if you're interested. Work. Through various channels, I learned about a bunch of situations. I'd like to tell you a story. When I'm done, you can ask me some questions. And then maybe you can decide to go out and do some things. You might, you might not. That's your affair. And I also want to tell you later about a nice present I think the Emperor wants you to have. Well, I want to hear about the present before I hear about the story. What is the nice president? I'm present? I'm sure I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a surprise. But I might... F and as I said, I'm not sure where it is, but I might find it anytime. So check back if I found it later after you've done some work. Okay, so he's got it. He wants me to earn it. Tell me a story. Story time. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines of criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it. Because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends, and proof is not as powerful as important friends. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought laws made people happy and safe, and it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quick as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, What can I do? Because the bad magistrate has important friends and nothing I can do will touch him. But then the good officer said, Say, wait a minute. What about the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends, and if they aren't around, then the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. And even better, the good officer suspected the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided that it would be good if the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate should go away forever. So that good officer made a little special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the bad people away. There. Isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story, because it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath. But maybe the story isn't over yet. Okay. Okay, Larry. Who are the bad people? Oh. The bad people are the Kamonatong. I thought everybody knew that. They're a criminal organization. Unfortunately, I don't know who the Kamonatong are, no one will tell me because I'm an officer, and it's against the code to tell officers things. The people in the Thieves' Guild hate the Kamanatong. I bet if you asked the Thieves' Guild, they would cheerfully tell you who the bad people are and where to find them. But I warn you, the bad people are very tough. Tougher than you, I'm afraid. But what about the bloodbath? The bad people in my story are five members of the Kamanatong. I know they're a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith, and that they're in Balmora. Unfortunately, I don't know their names, but maybe you can find their names and where to find them. And then maybe my story could have a happy ending with a little bloodbath instead of a little prayer. I liked that a lot. I really liked that. I still can't get my present, though. Awesome. So, my journal has all that stuff. Okay, cool. So, the bad people are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith. And I have to find out who those people are. That's a really cool quest that also sounds like it's going to take me a long time. And it's going to be really hard. And I think maybe we're going to have to do that in the next episode. Because i got to figure out who these people are. And i got to figure out how to figure out who these people are. So I'm going to do that when I have more time. So thank you guys for watching. 
I always appreciate it very much that you take a little time out of your day to watch my videos. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. I release more win videos every week. This game is, keeps getting more fun, and I am going to keep enjoying it as long as I can. Um, but regardless, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Upon doing a little investigative journalism, uh... I figured out what I'm supposed to do in the, in the next quest, in this, uh, in the Kamanatan quest, and I'm definitely not strong enough to do it right now, so I don't want you to get excited for that in the next episode, because it's not going to happen. I'm going to find something else to do. I got a lot of other stuff I can do before I take on things that are way too hard. So, just wanted to add that. Well, that was fun.